birthday you have always been you alone have no beginning and no middle and no end you're always with me you are everywhere in new jersey or in egypt even outer space you're there everything you are and do is unbelievable but true God of wow, amazing, how could this be? You're the God of wow, you're more than I could ever, ever dream. The more I learn about you, exclamation points abound to the God of wow. You're never needy, how could you be? You made everything on earth and in the sky and in the sea You're never lonely, the Trinity Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, yet you're reaching out to me Inviting me to come to you, inconceivable but true Exclamation points abound to the God of Wow! I can't find the words that could be big enough, loud enough There could be no song that I could sing enough or shout enough When I want to praise your name but don't know how I just say, wow, amazing, how could this be? And I say, wow, you're more than I could ever, ever dream. The God of wow, amazing, how could this be? You're the God of wow, you're more than I could ever, ever dream. The more I learn about you, exclamation points abound to the God of wow. Ah, oh my gosh, it is so hot out here. Ah, hey guys, Woo, it's me, Pastor Steven. I'm out here in the Sinai wilderness, out here in the desert where Moses and the Israelites wandered for 40 years until they reached the promised land. Yes, last week ended very well because God used Moses to deliver the Israelites out of Egypt and they got out of uh, out of the land of Egypt they got part of the Red Sea they walked right through it and with this amazing miracle that God did but then after that they wandered in the wilderness for 40 years just because of their attitude towards God God did so much for them in the wilderness God did some incredible things God gave them the law the Ten Commandments told them how to how to live and act as God's people because God loved them. God provided for them. He would cause food to fall from the sky. But still, in, in everything that God did for his people after he delivered them out of Egypt in slavery uh, through Moses, the people still um, rejected God, got upset with God, disagreed with God. And, uh, and so because of this, God caused them to wander in the desert for 40 years and didn't allow them to see the promised land. Even Moses didn't get to see the promised land. Well, guys, we're going to talk about the story of Moses and the Israelite people in the wilderness. And I have an awesome video that I want to show that helps tell the story of what 
happen and how uh, God provided for his people in so many different ways in their wilderness period. Well, go ahead, check out this video, and God bless. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses, hey. who was an Israelite born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? Moses, however, grew up in the palace of the Pharaoh, the very man who was enslaving the Israelite people. When Moses grew up, he made a big mistake uh -oh. and fled Egypt uh -oh. to live with the Midianites. Uh. But God called Moses back to Egypt. Ah to deliver his people with the help of his brother Aaron. Ooh. After God showed his miraculous power in Egypt, he led the Israelites through the Red Sea and towards the Promised Land. They followed God who showed himself as a cloud by day and fire by night. As God led them through the wilderness, the Israelites became thirsty and hungry. Uh. They complained to Moses and Aaron uh. and said, if only we had died in Egypt. Uh. God said to Moses that he would provide for his people. Hey. Each morning they awoke and found manna for the day. Uh. What's that? and each night God gave them meat. The people were still thirsty, and they were mad at Moses, saying, Did you bring us out here to die of thirst? So Moses cried out to God, and God told Moses to strike a rock, and water came flowing out of it for the people to drink. And so the Lord provided for his people's needs. After traveling in the desert for three months, they came to Mount Sinai, and God called Moses from the top of the mountain. God spoke to Moses there of the future of his people and reminded him of the miracles of the past. After three days, there was thunder and lightning as a thick cloud covered the mountain. The people heard a loud trumpet blast. And Moses led people to the foot of the mountain to meet with God. God told them how his people were to live and how they were to honor him and respect each other. The Israelites had seen for themselves that God had spoken to Moses from heaven. These rules that God told them are called the Ten Commandments. And the Israelites feared God, for his mighty power had brought them out of slavery and provided for them in the desert. Oh my gosh, guys, it's still so hot out here. It's not, it's not getting any cooler. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, after a story like that, I shouldn't be complaining. To be honest, that's one of the things that Pastor Steven struggles with the most is complaining. When I'm not comfortable, I just complain. Just like the people of Israel complained about uh, everything, even though God was providing for them in so many different ways. Well, guys, if there's anything that we learn about how incredible uh, God our Father is from that story, right, it's these three things. This is what I want you guys to remember. Say it with me. First, in that story, we learn that God is patient. God is so patient because even with all the complaining and the, 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 the uh, things that the people did, God still was faithful to love them and provide for them, even though they wandered and didn't want to be in the desert and were just complaining constantly to God. He was patient with them because he's a loving father. The next thing I want you guys to know is God guided his people by giving them the Ten Commandments, ten rules on how to live. Now these ten rules weren't a, a list of things to follow to give them a relationship with God. No, they already had a relationship with God. 
These are rules to help guide them in their lives and make their lives better. Just like your parents love you and give you rules to follow to help protect and guide you through life. The last thing we learn about God in this story is that God not only um, uh, is patient, that he not only guides, but God also provides for his people. And he did so with miracles, causing food, manna uh, to come down from heaven. And also he provide, provided water for them, uh, flowing through a rock. Through all these different miraculous ways, God provided for the people in the desert, in the wilderness. And so I want you guys to remember, if you're in a period in your life where you're kind of walking through different things and you're kind of wondering, you know, um, does God care about me? Does God hear my prayers? I want you to know that we have a good God. He's patient. He hears you. He gives you rules to guide you through life. And He always provides for you. He may not always give you what you want, but God always gives you what you need. Well, girl, uh, boys and girls, I hope that was, um, that was a blessing to you. I hope you guys enjoyed that story. Anyway, I'm going to get some water because I can't even think. I'm so thirsty out here. Anyway, God bless. I love you. I'll see you next week. And we'll have some new stories from the Bible ready for you guys. Take it easy. Whew, it's hot out here. All right, we got some lemonade or something? <laughs>